excited. Today we're going to be showing you what to do with holiday leftovers. And joining us is Chef Anthony with some really good ideas because usually, you know, we take the holiday leftovers and eat turkey all week long, right? So Around that gets the clock. Boring. Microwave, <laughs> microwave, microwave. Right, so, so what else can we do? Uh, basically, we're going to uh, implement a breakfast uh, plate and it's going to consist of sweet potato hash that we're going to add with the roasted turkey. That sounds delicious. So what's the first thing we should do? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go um, and make our pico de gallo. That's going to be our topping for our, uh, for our hash. So we're going to, um, and basically pico de gallo is just a fresh salsa. Um, you got like four, four components, five components in it. This is fresh Roma tomatoes. And you're basically just going to put those in a bowl. Fresh diced onions. Got fresh garlic, chopped up. A little fresh olive oil. Fresh lime juice. You can also put fresh lime zest in it if you want to. Give it a little extra zing. And some fresh chopped cilantro. So, and you just toss this. Put a little salt and pepper in it. Put a little salt and pepper. And there you have an easy salsa. And that's it? That's it. That's really easy to that's do. That's easy. You throw it together and you can let it sit. It'll hold for a couple days in the refrigerator. Okay, so now this is done. What do we do with the turkey? Well, basically, we start off, we've already got some of the turkey pulled. Um, and you're going to basically pull that into strips. It can be irregular size because you're going to cook it down. Mm -hmm. um, you put that in your bowl. And then over here, we've got some fresh herbs that mm -hmm. I chopped. We have some fresh sage, some fresh parsley, and we have a little bit of scallions um, that we're just going to add to this. And then just toss this with a little extra salt and pepper. And this is going to be our base that's going to get tossed into the sweet potato hash. OK. OK? Um, so. And then next, we're going to start on the hash. Um, with that, we have fresh roasted uh, sweet potatoes. Okay. Now, if you have sweet potatoes left over from Thanksgiving, if you do roasted, roasted potatoes, mm -hmm. you can peel those and dice them up and use that. All right, okay. so here's the fun part, right? Right. So what do we do? Is there a, a sequence of adding or do you just toss it all in? There is, there <laughs> is. Basically, you want to start off with your onions. Okay. And you want to start, you want to use a little bit of olive oil. And we have olive oil misters that we use in the Norton system. And it's basically going to help uh, not put so much olive oil, which are going to increase calories. Okay. Um, it's easy to get to pour the olive oil and just pour it in there. And you're right. pouring, you know, over 100 calories in there before you even start cooking. Oh, wow. So, so we're basically going to start. We're going to give them just a little bit of uh, caramelization. Go ahead and pour those in there. All right. All right. I'm going to give it a quick stir. So we're going to show how easy this is. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to add our peppers. It does smell really good already. It does. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to fold in our turkey. So that Thanksgiving turkey that we that we pulled. Okay. Okay. Now, since Christmas is coming up too, ham is popular. Is this something that you could do with? All different kinds of meat, like ham. You or can make a ham chicken. hash. Yeah, you could do it. Definitely do chicken, okay. ham, chicken. Now we're going to fold in our sweet potatoes. That roasting them is going to par bake those a little bit, and they're going to be nice and tender. And it's also going to add some flavor to your sweet potatoes and give it a little caramelization. Okay. And we also have a little vegetable broth that we're going to add to this to get a little bit of moisture in there so that it all cooks down really well. And then also we're gonna fold in some kale. Okay. Just a little bit, and it's gonna give it a nice color. So you're gonna heat that through, okay. and you see your green starting to turn. Mm -hmm. Now the recipe also adds, with this, is two fried eggs on that. So of course we can always do any different type of egg, right? Exactly. Scrambled. You can do, yes, you can do egg, egg white scrambled if you wanna put on top of that. You okay. Uh, poached eggs. All right, so we have our hash that we have finished. It has our turkey, our leftover turkey in it. And basically, when you go to plate this up for a portion or a platter to serve in the family table, put your hash down.
And then we also have our pico de gallo that we made. A little bit on top right up there. And our fresh guacamole that we also brought in. We said that we could use instead of avocados. I mean, that smells really, really good. And a couple little fresh cilantro sprigs for, for garnish. This looks amazing. And that sage and all the garnishments make it look beautiful. All right, and thanks for joining us for today's recipe. I'm Jasmine Embers. I'm Chef Anthony, and have a great, happy holidays.